Hey, welcome back to my channel. I know my last video didn't have a voiceover, but this time I decided to do one and um, hopefully I'm not too quiet. I've recorded this voiceover like four times now and hopefully this one is the right one. But let's get into the video. I'm gonna be giving you tips on how to make an original character or how to make your original characters better. Um, or specifically OCs, the short form, or acronym, whatever you want to call it. Um, and characters can usually range from recoloring an already existing character or making a character fit into an existing story or just making an original story with your characters. The latter is what which I'm helping you with today. Let's, let's get right into the video. Uh, I'm starting a lot. I'm sorry if I say um a lot. I'm still new to this. Uh -huh. So number one would be to figure out who they are before designing them. I've had trouble with this myself, so I know the struggle and that's why I want to help you with this. Because the struggle of not knowing who the character is before making them is the hardest thing ever even though sometimes it might seem fun but later on it gets really hard because you don't know anything and it's like a jumbled mess. I would say just try to slowly get into it and just think about who they are before you make them. because. Yeah, you don't want to redesign them a lot. It's really annoying. And if you're gonna put them in a story, I would recommend to you know think of the story's origins and characters' origins before going into any details. Just think of the basics and slowly go into it because the story is gonna be a mess if you don't. Number two would be to take inspiration. I'm not saying to completely rip off another person's OC. That that's just rude. Don't do that. But just use other OCs as reference for stories and stuff, because that's what I did. Um, specifically for Devil, I kinda used Marceline from Adventure Time as like an inspiration, and totally not ripped off. I did change it to make it better, but obviously not better, I'm not as good, but you know, it's different. So yeah, I would say something like some stuff like that, do that, and you know, using reference is not a bad thing. Like, you're not cheating by doing anything. Just make sure not to rip it off. Just try, when you're making the OC, remember to make sure it's yours and you're not completely just drawing someone else's OC. Because that's just rude. If someone did that to my children, I would actually murder someone. So don't do that. <laughs> um, number three um, is specifically for names. Uh, if you're struggling with names, you can just search up baby names lists on Google and just go through the list and find one you like. Um, you know, you don't have to make it like super unique. You can just have basic names. I mean, seriously, one of my OCs is literally called Chris. Like, I did not care. <laughs> uh, but, you know, you can sometimes even mash up two different names you see on baby names, baby name lists, which could also make it really unique if you want to go that route. And sometimes they also include like meanings and stuff which probably might be helpful if you want to know anything about meanings of names. I don't really personally care about that. But if you do know those details, it just doesn't matter to me. Um, <laughs> Number four would be to keep doodling them. Like, just mindlessly think about what they're gonna do. And it's the most fun part. Like, um, I mindlessly doodle my characters a lot. I usually find like cool pose references that I can use and then just draw my own like just sketch out my OCs, use my brush pen and then like put markers in and just make it like a tiny illustration of like my, my OCs doing just mundane tasks which can be really fun and uh, really great to do so if you want to do that it'll all it probably will refine your OCs a bit more than they already are which is usually helpful you want your characters to be a little bit more detailed later on. Number five, uh, which is fill up question sheets. This will help you make details. You can actually search them up on Google. Um, here are some example questions like, what's their favorite food? If they could travel anywhere, where would they go? Like, those are just some mundane things that you can just think about what your character would do, which would give you an example on what their personality is. Which, again, as I keep saying this whole video, it's gonna help with the details and with the story and gonna make everything easier. And just remember, 
Characters don't need to be fully designed at the start. You can do everything slowly, take baby steps, you don't need to worry about anything, and just remember to have fun with them because my OCs are literally my children. I would protect them, I love them all, I cannot hate any of them. I love all my OCs and all my children. They're, they're the most precious thing on the planet to me. But I'm rambling. I'm running out of time for this video, so I'm just gonna save the final stuff quick. Um, if you like this new form of videos, tell me, please leave a like. That that means a lot to me. I'm sorry, I cannot speak. If you would like to see me in the future actually know how to speak, hit the subscribe button. I sound like a YouTuber right now. Oh my god. <laughs> but um, I made a Discord server as well. If you if you would like to talk to me, uh, it's in, in my description. Uh, I've had this server for a while, but I never use it. So you can just go and follow that if you would like. Um, and as always, follow my Instagram, follow my Facebook page, and my Tumblr if you want, because I only post on Instagram mostly, and I usually repost to my Facebook page and my Tumblr, so it doesn't really matter. And I'll probably upload more on t Instagram, so just go follow my Instagram, that's about it. Everything's in the description. Hopefully the tips helped, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.